Finite Difference Time Domain is a powerful numerical method for simulating diffraction gratings, where the grating element and working wavelength are close in size. In this video, we'll explore two different types of grating devices, binary gratings and volume gratings. First, let's take a look at a volume grating layout. Here we can see the input field represented by the red line and 2D view of our grating. We can also view the grating in three dimensions if you click the 3D Layout Model tab. There are two ways to design this periodic structure using OptiFDTD. The first method is to use the built-in PBG editor to design an arbitrary periodic lattice. The second is to use Visual Basic Scripting to code the periodic structure. Now we'll take a look at a binary grating. We can view the 3D model to get a better perspective of the layout. Now let's jump to another binary grating example in which we will run a 2D simulation. In this grating, we can adjust the incident wave properties by double-clicking the input field. Here we have set the operating wavelength to 800 nanometers, an input field to rectangular, representing a plane wave. Now let's run the simulation by selecting Simulation and then 2D 32-bit simulation parameters. Once you are satisfied with the input parameters, simply click Run. Here we see the time domain field response inside our binary grating, in which you can observe the total scattering and reflected light. In OptiFDTD, the incident wave uses the total field and scattering field algorithms, which will allow for easy extraction of the diffracted field. We can also change our view to observe the real-time image plot. Once the simulation completes, we will launch the OptiFDTD analyzer. We can now view the steady state response of our simulation. Now let's click on Tools, Crosscut Viewer, and view the field distribution in the z-axis. To analyze the far field, go to our Component Utilities interface and select Far Field. Now select Wide Angle Far Field 2D. Load your input field, click Calculate, and enter your output file name. Now we can open up the OptiWave 2D Viewer and load our data file for far field analysis. We can now see the far field pattern and read the diffraction angle and efficiency. 